Hey guys, so I've been getting a lot of comments from you guys where so many of you are wishing for something. You wish you would be better at this or that, or you wish you would have certain tools because you think that then you will be better at something. And I totally understand, we as humans like to come up with excuses why certain things don't work for us just because it's the easier option. Maybe because we are afraid to face the truth that we might be actually bad at something, maybe we are just afraid of failing. Or we are just plain lazy to work harder and to improve in something because deep down we know it's not that important to us or we just like to complain. We would rather think that it's not our fault because our circumstances just not allow us to pursue this or that. But I believe that it's okay to be bad at something. We just need to be self-aware and accept it. When I was in school, I always struggled to get good grades in certain subjects and everyone made me think that I just simply suck just because the standard in school is to be good at everything. So if you were good in certain subjects, it basically didn't count because your other grades were bad or not good enough. And I totally understand that in school we just have to get certain grades to pass or to get into a better school or university. But what I'm talking about is that we sometimes start thinking the same way as people make us think about ourselves. That we are untalented, stupid and that we just suck at life just because we can't get A's in every single class and be good at everything. But at some point it made me think about why do I have to give myself such a hard time? I am bad at math. Yes, I was good at math at some stage in my life and I still can't keep blaming my math teacher for being so bad in teaching, that's why my grades went downhill. But what about my strengths? Are they so unimportant just because I'm not perfect in everything? Why do I have to keep wasting my time focusing on things I'm just bad at instead of getting even better at something I'm already good at? And this is something we all struggle with. We always tend to focus on the negative things instead of embracing and celebrating the good things. And that's totally normal for us. We are just built this way. And what I realized is that it's okay. I'm aware that I'm bad at certain things, but at the same time I understand that I'm good at so many other things. And once I accepted it, I felt so much better. You have no idea how freeing it was. The moment I realized and understood my strengths, I just stopped caring about things I'm bad at. Yes, I still gave my best at everything I did, even if the result wasn't good enough. But at the same time, I knew that this does not define my self-worth. I believe all our shortcomings are there for a reason, the same way I believe that everything happens for a reason. The things we are bad at allow us to realize what we are actually good at what we might want to pursue in our life so we can actually focus on the strengths and invest time in those to even get better. And then we just need to be patient. I'm still in the process of figuring things out, I'm so early in the process, but for now these are the things I realized and I thought that this could inspire you to take some time to think about yourself. And if you are, just like me, in the early process and you want to become even better at something regardless of how old you are or at what stage you are in your life right now. Let's do it. Let's work hard, let's do our best and let's enjoy the process while being patient. Because awesome things will happen. So guys, let me know in the comments below what is your weakness and what is your strength. Let's get real here, I would love to get to know you better. I really appreciate your support guys and thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Take care.